Let's talk briefly about the Lewis structure for C5H12O5. This is called xylitol. Xylitol is an artificial sweetener. They add it to foods to make food sweet, and this is what the molecule looks like. If you're given this formula here for xylitol, it would be difficult for you to come up with just looking at this with this structure here. There are probably a number of different ways you could arrange this in different isomers that would be valid Lewis structures. So just with this, it would be difficult to come up with the Lewis structure. If you were given the structure written like this, that wouldn't be so bad. So let's look at our Lewis structure and relate it to this formula here. When we have this juncture here, that's where the carbons are. So there are five carbons in xylitol, and these are the five carbons where I've drawn the dots. So those are carbons. So for each carbon, it should be bonded to four things. Here we only have two bonds, two single bonds. So that would mean that we would have hydrogen atoms bonded to this. They're not written, but they're there. So we would have hydrogen atoms there. Here we have one, two, three bonds. So we have a hydrogen atom, hydrogen atom, hydrogen atom. And then on this side, there's only two single bonds. We'd have the two hydrogen atoms. So I won't write those in, but those are the hydrogen atoms. When we look at this structure, we have HO. Really, this is the OH for the alcohol group. So we have this HO here. And then the CH2, this is this carbon with the one, two hydrogens. When we come into the middle here, we have three where we have a carbon, hydrogen, and then this OH group. So we have our carbon, our hydrogen, and then the OH group. And we can see on either side we have carbons. So we have three of these CHOH groups right here in the middle. Then on the end again, we have CH2. Here's our carbon with two hydrogens. And the OH. So if we wanted to write the full Lewis structure, we could write hydrogens on each end of these, but we know the oxygens need eight valence electrons for an octet, so they do have lone pairs. Each oxygen here has two lone pairs. In fact, all of the oxygens have two lone pairs. So this would be the Lewis structure for xylitol. You can write the hydrogens in if you like. This equation here, it does show us how many of each type of atom we have, but to really understand the structure, you'd need something a little bit more explicit like this right here. This is Dr. B talking about the Lewis structure for xylitol. Thanks for watching.